Tonight, from Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Two teams who both won their openers. Yeah, it's been mission accomplished so far. Each off to the start that they envisioned as the season began. And while it's only week two, whoever can come out of this one with a win and jump to 2-0 has everybody in their division looking up at them. A couple of teams here who began the year with wins. Let's see who can make it 2-0 as off we go in week two. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh year pro. Seems to be the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent though into stardom quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to. And just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen, because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player. Oh, it's intercepted. What a start. Picked off by Kater Kogu. And he takes this one back for the pick six. So we start our game off with a touchdown, Brock, but not on the side of the scoreboard that we were expecting. Yeah, first drive on defense. The goals get off the field. Maybe even flip the field with field position. But to score points yourself, that's not something they honestly consider too much. That is until he started that return, baby. <laughs> and they saw things lining up perfectly for it to happen. Jason Sanders to try the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. Ty Johnson now to return. Oh, he's showing some burst on this return. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. The Buffalo offense out there for their second drive of the contest. They aren't even quite sure what this team is going to settle in as this season, Brock, but already... This is an important contest for him that could have postseason implications down the line. First turn of the game for James Cook. And this is going to be a short carry that just reaches the 40. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Shakir in motion right. Second and eight. He's throwing deep to the left side. Really pushing the envelope on second down, but the deep shot doesn't work. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. He's loaded another one up. And that one's incomplete for now. He brings up fourth. Let's see what this penalty play is all about. Tempting to perhaps take the yards and run third down again, partner. But they decline it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. So the Dolphins offense headed out for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the fifth-year lefty out of Alabama, Tua Tonga-Vailoa. 
You know, okay, we talk a lot about quarterbacks and fits, and I love this scheme. Mike McDaniel scheme for Tua. It's peanut butter and jelly. It's why they led the NFL in passing yards. And most importantly for Tua last year was he was available. That ability, that availability is so critical. Now, he's just got to find his first playoff win. And he's short of the first after a mild game. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. First give of the game here to Raheem Mostert. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Running it after the penalty. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Holding offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. They'll run here following the penalty. And he gets back to the line, but no more. No gain on the play there. Might need to dig into that bag of tricks for third and very long. Now they send their back in motion right. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? Well, they chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. From their own end zone, and he gets it away. Feels this at the 42. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. New series coming up following the punt. And the Bills will take over possession. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Shakir with the grab. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That finds his man, it's Keon Coleman. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Shakir in motion right. Here's second and two. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. To the air again, Allen. He's got it near the 10. And he's going to be taken down near the 8-yard line. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. To hit a curl route of that length, it takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Six yards from there. It's going to be second and goal. Back to throw now, Allen. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills reach pay dirt for the first time this game. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. That one splits the uprights, and we're all knotted up. Bass now to kick this away. To return, here's Raheem Mostert. Cover 
Dodge team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now we're going to see the Dolphin offense for their second drive of the contest. And this is an interesting game for both they and their rivals across from them, Brock, getting a key division matchup so early in this season. Off the play fake, here's Tonga Vailoa. He gets it complete to his man, Tyree Kill. And he crosses out of bounds, and now we're going to learn who the penalty flag is on. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back. Back to throw, Tua. Gets this to OBJ. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They run the counter to HN. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. A five-yard gain on the play. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. They put a receiver in motion here left. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. On play action, here's Tonga Law. Pressure coming, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. When we think about safeties, I mean, it's, it's just right in the name. Right? The safety is the last line of protection in the passing game. We don't think of them as blitzers. But, Kate, let me tell you, for a safety blitz to get home, they got to be great disguisers. They can't show that blitz early. That safety didn't, and the quarterback took the brunt of the contact. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Oops, saw some movement there. That's going to cost them five. Ball start. Offense. There was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. All right, here we go. Second down. Out of the shotgun, a give to AJ. And he'll get this up to the 19-yard line as he stopped. And it'll be a gain of about four, but doesn't shrink the mountain that they have to climb now on third and long. Tonga Vailoa now, working from the gun. Able to get it to Mostert. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how, I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball, and over time, he's going to make you pay. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Feels this clean at the 30. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt gets up to 59 yards. And they're going to take over possession. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and 10. Play action now with Allen. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Offense. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back. They motion a receiver left. Pressure coming, it's Allen. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. So now it's second and long. Allen on the play action. Into a crowd, and a defender comes up with it. Devon Holland comes up with it. And the Dolphins will take over as he reports his first interception of our season. Well, you 
Honestly, not the cleanest game without two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your mistakes. Okay, you strike out, you throw an interception, but you gotta go get it in that next series. You gotta put these interceptions behind and press forward ahead. The Dolphins sending their offense back out there. And they're set up well inside of enemy territory. They've got a short field after that pick. First and 10 now. Here's Tunga Vailoa. Taking a big shot for the end zone. And this is going to end up incomplete. Really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They'll send their tight end right. This one's taken in by Hill. And he's got it down to the 30 before going out. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. To uh, off the play fake. Coverage holds up, but he just had to get rid of it. I'll tell you this, Kate. That's, that's where you got to be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute both the protection and ultimately completing that ball. They certainly want that play called back. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. He stopped on the return at the 27. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. And coming off the interception, a good chance to reestablish some momentum as they get set. Allen now on first down. Cook calls it in. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. One of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. They send him left out of the slot. First and ten. Here's Allen. Connection made to Coleman. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. First and 10 from the 41. Again, Allen to the air. Oh, no, they get him yet again. And the Dolphins are going to have it after his second interception of the season. There's some serious self-scouting going on right now. What is this quarterback not seeing that has led to these three interceptions in just this game? And then overall, what is this offense doing that has this defense clued in coverage-wise to every rock combination they're trying to throw? The Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. They send a receiver in motion right. Okay, the wide receiver is going to get it to begin the drive. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Offense to the line for second down. He finds OBJ, and they'll get there and stop him at the line. And the Bills bringing out an extra defensive back, third down coming up. Two and now from the gun. He lofts it deep left. And they really went for it on third down, didn't they? But the heave falls incomplete. Now they're facing fourth down. 
I think it's safe to say that without that ball being tipped, we are looking at a big game. That's a missed opportunity to push that offense, but an even better play defensively to deny the throw. And a fair catch made here at the 17. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. And a nice drive last time out, Brock, squandered by that interception. So I think they take a repeat of everything except that final play. That's taken in by Samuel. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Some movement there before the snap. Right side of the line. This is going to back them up. There was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Man in motion headed right. Here's second and seven. Coleman with the grab. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. He'll get this to Samuel. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. That one gains seven. And that's good for a Bills first down. Move the chains! Gotta move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. To throw again, it's Allen. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Second and three now. To the air again, Allen. He finds Kincaid, and he's brought down at the line. We've arrived at the end of one on Thursday night. Scoreboard shows 10-7. Back to Hard Rock Stadium right after this. We're back for the second quarter. Bills in possession of the football. They're moving it well, but now face a third and short. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And there was nobody down there to get it. Punt hit at the seven, but continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Miami offense headed out there now. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll start the drive with a chance. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They'll stick with A-Chain. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. They send Hill right. Throw in. Here's Tonga Vilo on third. That's caught for the first. That one goes for 25 yards. And it'll be first down Miami. I'll be honest with you, Kate. As you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had on the perimeter. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Tunga Vailoa now. 
short pass caught by his tight end. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Tunga Vailoa off the play fake. This is caught by Jalen Waddle. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. The drive picks up here, first and 10. Here's Tunga Vailoa again. Oh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. To the air yet again, Tunga Vailoa. That's Hill working the sideline, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right along the 20. All plays on the table here for third and three. Stick into the air, it's Tunga Vailoa. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're gonna miss. You just gotta shake it off and keep shooting away. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kid. Return coming from the six. Find some space. He's past the 30. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. The Bills offense all set for their next drive. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. Play action now. Allen. He makes the catch. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Complete to Shakir. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Allen gonna throw again. And they pick him up again! Jordan Boyer has it! And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding. Offense. Well, no surprises here. They decline the holding call and hang on to the interception. First down, here's Tua. Taken in by Smith. Continuing to move past the 45. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. The big play and that's him 17 yards. And that's going to get the Dolphins a first down. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. First and 10 now, here's Sunga Vailoa. Hold in by Waddle. And they make the tackle at the 38. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. New set of downs for him at the 38. On first down, here's Tonga Vailoa. Pass is hauled in by the running back. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. He got a major fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing him. Here's a chain up the middle. Jukes one defender, 
And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Taps it quick to the receiver coming across. Cuts it to the right sideline. And this isn't resolved quite yet as he goes out. We've got a flag down. Looks like it's going to be on the offense. Offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Tug of Iloa working from the pistol. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. And the fumble recovery is made. And they limit the damage on the return, but it is still a turnover. You know, Kate, defenders today are top. Don't just I go don't get the sack. Go get play. the sack and the ball. It's become an art form. Making you that strip sack and that play if was a masterpiece. You gotta walk, go walk. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. Their last series sure was looking like points up until that interception, Brock. Hopefully they can move the ball similarly well as they take over here. Ball at the 33 for first down. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Finds Kincaid. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Holding offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Here we go, second and very long. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. Throwing here, Allen. To him again. And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. An individual player taking over a drive isn't limited to just skilled players on the offense. Uh-uh. If a defender gets in a groove like this, he can wreck a drive single-handedly with his pass rush. That is back-to-back -back sacks for him now. And it sure seems like whatever move he's throwing out there, it's working. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And it'll be Dolphins football. They're out and set, first and 10. Two and now from the gun. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll get it up to the 27. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Two off the play fake. He's got it, room to run. And he'll get it up near the 38 yard line before going down. It's a pickup of 11. And it'll be first down Miami. Shotgun snap now to Tunga Bailoa. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. This is caught inside the 15. And he's in for the big point touchdown. Oh, Brock, but there it is. Back down the field, we've got a flag, and I don't think this is going to count. Offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Double the distance to go after that holding call. It's now first and 20. Tight end motioning right. Running with a chain out of the gun. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. 
A chain on the inside give. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this beast down. Out of the gun, Tonga Bailoa. This one's taken in by Hill. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. To throw, Tonga Vailoa. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. Takes this in at the 25. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. And at the pace he's begun the game throwing the football, Brock, he is in line for a special type of performance if they need to keep throwing it until the end. First down throw for Allen. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. That's taken in by Samuel. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. They are now set for first and 10. Now Allen off the play action. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. To the air again, Allen. Coleman with the grab. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Ball start, offense. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And, well, they got one of them to move that time. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Play action now with Allen. This is reeled in by Valdez Scantling. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Allen gonna throw again. It's caught. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. That one goes for 15, and now they're gonna have first and goal. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And for the moment, that's going to be a touchdown. Whether it will stand, though, well, that depends on the call on this flag. Holding offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. So now, after being backed up just a bit, another first and goal. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Pass complete to Cook. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. It's second and goal. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he only gets this one down to the nine. The Bills are going to go ahead and call their first time out. Buckle up, it's third and goal. Goal. 
Operating from the gun, it's Allen. And he will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills tie it in the final minute of the half. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Bass on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll take the lead. Bass now to kick this away. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Dolphins offense returning to the field a final time before the half. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. First down, here's Tua. He's on the move. Now he takes it. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. That is so demoralizing for a defense. You lock things down in coverage. You do everything right on the back end, only to see the quarterback escape, evade the pressure, and get that first down anyway. Ugh. The Bills getting close, and they take him down. Before we can get a snap on second down, they call timeout. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Got to figure out this third down here. He's back to throw. On the move, headed right. And the pressure brings him down, but... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Flag on the play. Gonna have to see if this one saves. Offense. Well, the negative play makes it even easier to decline that flag. That's going to bring up fourth down. He'll throw it. Oh, no, he lost control of another one. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills leading. Now it's up north to Orlando for a look around the league. We've got Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But first, let's give everybody a look at what's coming up later this weekend around the NFL. As far as the early games go in that 1 o'clock window, we'll be focused on that game in Nashville. A big one for the Titans as they'll square off against the New York Jets. In the late afternoon games, it'll be loud in Kansas City, that's for sure, as it'll be the Chiefs taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Sunday night football between the Chicago Bears and the Houston Texans. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one-point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could hope for with both these teams in it to win it. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Bass now to kick this away. Set to return, this is Braxton Berrios. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Dolphins getting their offense out there to start off this second half. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense linemen, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. Completes this one to Hill. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. You call that receiver screen, and every once in a while, that wide receiver, well, he's got to be his own blocker. He's got to make the first guy or two miss. That didn't happen. Play goes nowhere.
throw in. Here's Tonga Bailoa on Two. third. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. So the Dolphins readying for the punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. Collects this at the 35. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Bills ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. Straight ahead, here's Cook. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He's going to push one deep down the right. An alert play defensively there. Got a hand on it to tip it away. And that makes it second down. They'll send him over right. Here we go. Second and very long. Shakir with the grab. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. The Dolphins with an extra DB out there. Third down coming. Pressure coming. It's Allen. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. How about that play, Brock? On third and 14, they find a way to convert. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate. But it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces. But it can pay big dividends. Here's a give to Cook. And he'll knife his way through for a pick of a four. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. setting up to throw on target to Valdez Scantling and they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down give him 15 yards on the pickup there and that's good for a Bills first down from the red zone now the throw is caught I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big trustworthy tight end in the passing game such great size to have and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. The Bills push their lead further to start the half. Josh Allen, the touchdown. I don't care. They broke out the design. Play. Run from there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, KQB, hey, do your thing. Get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right? An extra yeah. number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an offensive touchdown. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. He's going to field this at the two. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Miami set to take over once again on offense. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense 
out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Able to get it to Mostert. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. A run now with HM. And he'll only find one yard up the gut. Second down. Well, no spring in a big play on that one. It's just going to simply be used as a setup play, whether that's another run or eventually what I love, setting up a play action pass off that counter action. To an now from the gun. On target to Waddle. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. To uh, off the play fake. Vacates quickly left side. And he's going to slide here to a stop, but a penalty marker on the field. Holding offense. So they'll let the play stand, decline the penalty, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Hunter on now, and he gets into this one. He fields it cleanly, and they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And after the punt, the offense comes out onto the field, and they'll get ready to go on offense. They've got first down from the 31. Here's Allen. That's complete to Valdez Gantling. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 32 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helped set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Throwing now on first down, Allen. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Motion man sent left. Second and ten now. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. When nothing opens up, that becomes a pretty clear throwaway spot. I mean, that is textbook throwaway spot right there, Kate. Get outside the box, chuck it in the third row, and avoid exactly what happened right there. Because now third down is so much harder. He finds his running back. Nice work, complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Whether they meant to go to him or it was an adjustment on the fly, that's not the read that was going to beat this defense for a first down. That look, well, this crew defensively was prepared for and knew how to keep it short of the marker. It's no good. It had the leg, but his aim wide right. And this stays a one-score, eight-point game. He was hitting from that distance pregame. Heck, we were on the field watching it, and they were confident he could do so again. Just did not work out this time around. Offense returning to the field now for the Dolphins. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. On first down, here's Tonga Vailoa. Finds his man, Waddle. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Bill's territory. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Sending a receiver left. Second and one. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he goes out a little short of the 40. 
So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help. First and 10 from the 41. They go play action with Tonga Vailoa. He finds OBJ. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Going play action, Tonga Vailoa. And the pressure brings him down, but wait just a second. I see a flag, gonna have to sort this one out. Holding offense. All right, this is a little bit odd. I think in most spots, we'd expect to see them decline the call, take the lost yards and down. Well, all I can think of here is they've got some extreme confidence, maybe hubris in their defense mm. to make a similar type of play, but just tack on even more negative yards lost. Give them two yards there, and it's now third and 14. Shotgun snap now to Tunga Bailoa. And that one's incomplete for now. He brings up fourth. Let's see what this penalty flag is all about. Holding offense. Tempting to perhaps take the yards and run third down again, partner. But they decline it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Punt team on, and they'll send this one away. And that's out. We're just waiting for the spot. They're going to say clear the sideline over top the 14. The Bills are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's Cook. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Allen on the play action. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's holding. usually where we see holding calls. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. Working from the gun, it's Allen. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's holding. usually where we see holding, holding calls. He got a major fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing him. Allen looking to throw. Connects with Cook. He has room past the 15. And he's taken down here at the 16-yard line. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. This is Cook. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Allen on third and short. He's got it room to run. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed, enough to keep this drive moving. This is Cook on the handoff. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Shakir with the grab. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. All right, here we go. Second down. 
An early jump and the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. Defense. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. Still second down. Offense to the line for second down. They'll run here following the penalty. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. We've reached the end of the third quarter on this Thursday night. It's Bill's ball. We'll see if they can hang on to this lead till the end. They come to the line here. This is third and six. Shakir in motion right. Allen on third down. That's caught for the first. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. And it's got to come back. Here he is on third and long. Complete beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. So third and 16, no problem for them as they get the first. Hey, let's get those next-gen stats out here, Kate. See just how far he had to run between the snap of the football and when he finally got the throw. Did a beautiful job of settling down into zone coverage, even though it took him a whole lot of distance to get there. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stuffed right at the line. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Connection made to Shakir. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Here we go, second and very long. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Hey, I know nobody's perfect. And all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Dalton Kincaid, the intended target. And now they're staring at fourth and long. The Bills with a punt team out there. And he's been getting all of it every time out. Averaging over 50 yards a kick, and this is another one well hit. Now this one, not much of a chance of it staying in the field of play. They'll mark it out at the 13-yard line. Now we're going to have a stoppage after that return. Looks like somebody was shaken up on the play. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Tonga Vailoa now working from the gun. He puts some power on a deep one left. He's got it complete. And he will score. Touchdown by Dolphins down by only two in the fourth. Devon A. Chan with the touchdown. So the offense showing a, a slightly different dimension there, Brock, getting the running back involved with his hands for the touchdown. Yeah, such an advantage. I think when you think about it, Kate, it really is about the 80s where we start to see these running backs not just tote the ball as runners, but be real weapons when they get the ball in the passing game. Yeah. That's well done. Tonga Vailoa will look to throw. And he gets into the end zone. This one all tied up here in the fourth quarter. 
But we all knew Extra Point was doing nobody any good there. Gotta go for two on the tie. They do. They get it. And just like that, we're all squared up here in the second half. Squared up. Brand new ball game. Even Steven. Who is Steven? Do you know who Steven is? No. Go ahead. Go ahead, though. Take it. I don't know who Steven is, and I don't really care because it's a whole new game with both teams totally alive. Surprising that he wasn't out there to break the tie with a point after as he gets out there now to kick this off. Has this at the six. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The visitors and Keon Coleman running out to the field. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Allen. Cook calls it in. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. Now on first down. Rushed out of the pocket. Now here he goes. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. An excellent gain. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. First and 10 from the 41. Allen. He goes back to him yet again, complete. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Play action now with Allen. Oh, brother, it's another interception. Picked up, Kendall Fuller. And good tackle, but a flag is down right against the defense. So the interception's gonna be remembered by the fans here, partner, but not by the official score. The interference call takes that away. Running it after the penalty. And he'll push them down to the six yard line. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. Now Allen. He completes it in traffic. And he will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills take a fourth quarter lead! The impact this guy has had on this game, Brock, has been massive. They'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns. Yeah, that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances. Puts him in front here in the second half. It puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. His return starts at the five. Find some space, he's past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. This offense getting all set for this series. Still time to go, Brock, but that touchdown has him down now seven. They've got to find the end zone here. First and ten now, here's Tunga Vailoa. Gets this to OBJ. And he stops. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Two and now from the gun. On target to Waddle. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Holding offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. 
Out of the gun, Tonga Bailoa finds his man, Watto. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Holding offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Now a chance. And they're able to drag him down as he reaches the 15-yard line. And it'll be a gain of about four, but doesn't shrink the mountain that they have to climb now on third and long. Back to throw, Tua. Achan reels it in. And he reaches the 17-yard line as he's hauled down. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong, where I sit and judge a defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field, and not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. Has it at the 37. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Bills will take over possession. to throw now Allen pass complete to Cook and they make the tackle at the 38 they gain 14 on the play and that's good for a Bills first down a play like this that's exactly where you want to get him the ball right on the outside where he's got the space and a lot more room to work new set of downs for him at the 38 Allen setting up play action. Going quickly, but it's incomplete. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Second and 10 now. Complete to Shakir. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And this one doesn't go far. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Again, Allen to the air. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on the coverage of this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away. The next time, he can get two hands on it and take it the other way. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. A gain of six, and that brings up an interesting fourth and short call. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you can win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Davis up the middle. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That's a pretty clear plan of attack by the back from the very start. Found the lane quickly, didn't hesitate, knew exactly what he needed to get, get past the marker. And he can only get a lone yard, took a couple of guys to hold him down near the line. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, 
And now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. They'll run it with Cook. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Bills go up by two scores as they try to put this one away. It's a James Cook touchdown. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. Now outruns their offense to take over. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap now to Tunga Vailoa. Got a man over the middle. Complete. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He finds OBJ. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. And we're going to get a pause here for an injured player. We see that it's Odell Beckham Jr. in some pain following the play. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Tonga Vailoa now working from the gun. Hauled in by Waddle. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Tonga Vailoa on first down. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. Offense up to the line fast. Trying again, following the set. Taking a deep shot. That's grabbed inside the 30. And he's in for the big play touchdown. Oh, Brock, but there it is. Back down the field. We've got a flag, and I don't think this is going to count. Moving offense. Such an exciting play lost because of that penalty. And this offense now left to think of their next call as they make the long walk back down the field. Dumps it off to his fullback behind the line. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. I remember talking to Jim Harbaugh one time, and Bo Schimbeckler asked him when he was a head coach, you have a tight end with his hand on the ground? Yes, coach. You have a fullback still on your roster? Yes, coach. Then you're going to be just fine. Puts a little too much into this one. That's too high. Brings up fourth down. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. He's got Smith. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Desperation time on fourth down. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. And they're going to go ahead and let the play stand as it happens. They decline the penalty. Now it's Cook, and he'll scurry forward for a pickup of three. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. 
Another one for Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there, and that leaves him with third down and five. It's the two-minute warning from Miami. Bills moments away from a 2-0 start. Here they come. This is third and five. Davis takes it straight ahead. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. They'll go again with Davis. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. No surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. Up to the line, and they're set. First and 10. Going right back to Davis. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. The Dolphins choosing to spend their final time out here. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he's brought down for a loss. These edge defenders in the league today, Kate, they've got so much on their list to do. A huge to-do list. They gotta get to the passer, they gotta set an edge, and they gotta stop that run game, not just on the end of the line, but in that case, right in the middle of the field. Hand off here to Davis. And he hits a wall at the line and goes nowhere. Don't laugh at me, Kate. <laughs> I almost wish there was an actual white flag on either sideline we could see waving in this spot, because that was an easy mop-up for the defense to force fourth and long. Honest Tyler Bass for the Bills field goal try. Ball on the right hash for this 36-yard look. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that makes this a three-score game. We got ourselves a three-score game now after that make. It's got to feel like it's going to just about do it with any hopes of a comeback still smoldering. I think these kickers enjoy those opportunities, Kate, to be the one to kick this lead out of range. They'll bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. Another drive coming up for this offense. And they can really do what they want with these last couple of snaps afforded to them because the outcome already decided. First and 10 now from the 30. Tunga Vailoa now. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. They go play action with Tonga Vailoa. He's dropping deep on this snap. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding calls. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. Here we go, second and very long. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Now Tonga Vailoa to throw. No better luck than the last play, Brock, as he just has to get rid of it. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Signaling fair catch, and he takes it in at the 37. So the Bills fight their way to a win on the road. And they can be proud of their exploits on the road and overall so far this season as they improve to 2-0. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.